Hingham stands a classic white house with a bright red door. Colonial history? Could be, but this is the birthplace of Talbots, the women's fashion retailer that today is a national brand. CEO Lizanne Kindler. Talbots was founded in 1947 by Nancy and Rudolf Talbots right here in Hingham. And it's amazing that we're still headquartered in Hingham. The headquarters is a sprawling facility with 500 associates snapping photos for the online store, prepping catalogs, and designing store layouts. Today, the word renaissance echoes loud and clear, and the beat of renewed energy is palpable. There was a period where the brand wanted to go after a younger customer that was a little bit more fashion forward and trendy, and it, it didn't work so well. It's hard when you have um, close to 70 years of heritage and DNA to change how customers view your brand. Under Kindler, Talbots is back to doing it their way, much like Nancy Talbot did it in her day. She was obsessive with good taste and style, but at the same time influenced by fashion and newness. So we like to say that we're a modern classic brand for women of uh, 45 to 65 as our sweet spot. Well, I kind of always thought Talbot was for older women. I'm in my late 30s now, and when I came in here, I found clothes that I really liked. The color is great. The color is great with your hair. Donna and Jean are great. Donna helps me for this trip to Italy to look good, because you don't want to look bad in Italy. New this year is a partnership with Dress for Success and O Magazine. It's the first time that Oprah Magazine has done this type of a partnership. I'm Adam Glassman, the creative director of O, the Oprah Magazine. Adam Glassman designed these pieces with our um, head designer of Talbots, and it was a great collaboration between the two of them, very inspired by actually Oprah's garden of flowers. A great floral pencil skirt with a ribbon trim and a stretch lining, so it works well for all sizes across the board. 30% of the net proceeds go to Dress for Success. This is Kindler's second tour of duty with the company. Her mission to revive the New England classic seems to be taking hold. We have seen a great turnaround in the brand and customers are back, they're engaged. Women today are not defined by age. You know, that's the most important thing for us to keep in mind. It's not about the age, it's about who you are. Good advice. Started as a catalog company, actually, and the catalog still exists, as do the red doors on all the retail stores. <laughs> and that is Chronicle for tonight. I'm Jason Monahan. And I'm Anthony Everett. Thanks very much for joining us. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here tomorrow night.